Hey chat, good morning, evening, night, afternoon. My cat is currently chasing a moth, so if you hear some uh, disaster behind me, uh, that's why. Anyways, um, very improvised, impromptu, unprompted uh, stream tonight. I had no idea I was going to stream, but I had the chance, and then I'm not going to have the chance for a few days, so I decided to take it. Uh, because it's been a while, I decided to skip Roguelike Night and go back to Crash Bandicoot since I got the boss fight working. And I don't want to risk it not working again. Uh, how much do I not want to risk it not working again? Well, you see... I already have the game open. That's how much I don't want to risk it, <laughs> black screen again. I just opened the boss fight, it's literally this screen, there was no like prior cutscene or anything. It's just this, I just like, hit uh, escape, I just paused the game, the first frame it showed up, so I know nothing about it. Okay. Alright. Loading screen did say you could reflect the uh, the energy bolts. So I'm assuming it's only the green ones. Oh, you bastard. Gotcha. Or maybe I don't? Ooh, sheesh. This is going to be tough. And then, immediately, as soon as I finish this one... Uh, so uh, immediately, as soon as I finish this boss fight, I am moving on to the second game. Oh, come on! What's the point of game overing me? I already have to start from the beginning. I wonder if that was the game over screen in the uh, original game. I don't think so. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. I would say having to look at this... Having to look at that asshole each time I die is uh, not a fun experience. Alright. Okay, I got this, I got this. What? I clicked. I was clicking, you heard me clicking, right? Oh boy. I like the song though. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My nose is itching. My nose is itching. Give me a second. There you go. I... Like... It would be, admittedly, a bit disappointing if this was the entire fight, but at the same time, I just want this to be the entire fight. Please? What? Oh my god, it gets worse. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. That's barely halfway. I can't imagine how bad it's gonna get near the end. Really like this theme though. Gotcha, gotcha. Can't believe we're starting with the boss fight. Come on, dude. That stupid black screen bug. Okay. 
He's going to do a couple of adjustments, and on the third one, is he actually going to... No, on this one. And then again, oh god. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, now my eyelids are itching. Oh, I got something in my eyelid. Ah, oh, god damn it. Come on. Ah, oh, missed time. Yeah, yeah. Imagine each time I game over a black screen again and I had to reinstall it again. And I just had to do that every time. Like, just hardest boss fight of all time. Well, I feel for some reason like I can, like there's no invisible walls here and I could fall any second. Which does make me a bit nervous, I admit. Okay. Alright. Oh god! What am I doing? I... No, don't do that to me. That's just mean. That's just mean. You are an insult to everything I, 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 I stand for. You're evil. You don't let me learn. That's what you are. You're you're my you you take away my opportunity to learn the boss. Can I disable you? I wonder if I can. Well, that's one way to do it. Come on, shoot the thing already. I wonder if you can Okay, you cannot cheese it by saving up uh another one. That was a weird headbox moment. That was a. Can I take you out of here? Can I take you out of. Can I take you. I cannot take you out of my game. And you know, people will say, oh, if you don't want him, just don't die. That's the, that's the whole point. The whole point is that I, I want to keep dying. I don't. This. The boss fight is clearly trial and error. If you don't... This just takes the error out of the trial. It gives you at least an extra one to work with. Oopsie, is it? I don't want to be a hardcore gamer moment. I don't want to go like... Mm. It's just... I don't want to play with him. In this particular case. it's It's been helpful in the platforming sections, but for this... Oh my god, I didn't even notice. I was so... <laughs> I was so busy with not trying to get hit that I got hit. Uh, that's an... There's some hitbox moments, I'll, I'll say that. I genuinely think there's some weird stuff. Maybe not, maybe it's just t touching like the, the, the very small tip of his shoe or whatnot, but... What am I even hitting there? Like, it feels like I'm bouncing off it more than actually hitting it. Okay, can I at least get him to the next phase? Okay. Then for a bit, nothing, and then we shoot. He's gonna shoot the green ones twice. 
now. Uh, sh it's a bit hard to deal with these. Okay, that one is going to... Ah. Uh, ah, shut up. Oh, I cannot walk. Oh, yeah, I can walk off. I can definitely walk off. I don't know. There's some weirdness, man. Maybe I'm just... What was it called? Maybe I, I just don't have depth perception. I think that's it. Okay, can we please move on to your next phase already? Never mind. Yeah, yeah. At this point, they're just doing the game over to be mean. I don't lose the mask. I don't really lose progress. It's just, he's just being a dick, that guy. What? I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewatch these frame by frame, I swear to God. Wait, does he actually have a different sound cue when he's gonna shoot the green ones instead of just the fiddling with the gun thing? No. It's a random thing, okay. Okay, now he's gonna shoot the things. Ah. Oh, finally got that one. Now what's gonna happen next? Once again, it got weird. And now the mask is even more insulting. It's fit like... If someone, I, I imagine for for someone that's like a fan of these games, hearing this sound of the the mask coming up must be like one of the worst insults. It's like when when a Devil May Cry game, you're like, oh, you can now play an easy baby mode because you're a baby. That's what it feels like. Oh, don't don't don't, wor don't worry about difficulty, you little big baby. We know you're a, you, we're, you, we know you're useless. Yellips, your message killed me, you motherfucker. Well, you got me here, I mean. No, no, what I mean to say is, uh, thank you for the resub, Jillips. Jillips says, hi, I just got home now. And can I just say, oh dear God, Spanish Noe Dance is one of my new favorite rhythm game songs. So Jillips got me into Step Mania, and now anything I, anything me is even Step Mania. And that's fair, that's fine, no. I appreciate his patronage. So I have to agree with him. He technically is my boss. Okay, so that's just a spin. Okay, so that just has to be a back and forth. I feel like I would have gotten farther if it wasn't for the jealous message. It's in 2013. I'll, 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 maybe I'll try it after stream, I don't know. It's 
sending you my score before you lose it. Okay. I don't have the notice sound nail, so it's not gonna bother me. No, you know what's gonna bother me? It's No wait, Discord doesn't flash when you when you're in stream mode, thank god. Oh my god! That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, he's he's about to get ham. Three, four, five, and then six. Two, three, four, five, and then six. Okay. Stream mode is a godsend, I agree. I killed him! I got him! I killed him! And he just took one hit. You know what? I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh gamer allegations are in shambles right now. I I beat the gamer allegations, I'm not a gamer. Well, that was a great stream, very short, very nice, um, theme. I cannot dance too much now. My, my chair has been taking a lot of strain lately. You've probably been noticing, if, if, if you've been watching the streams, you might have noticed that my chair is uh, making more and more noise. I need to get a new one. I need to just get it like a, like an actual office chair. I, I can't keep using a normal wooden chair for streaming. It's not it's not good. You know how expensive those chairs are though? Like the gamer chairs? Like who? Why? It's a chair. It has wheels. It has wheels. It's it. Cool down, dude. I could probably put wheels on my couch, honestly, and that, that would be better. Actually. No, 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 never mind. Anyways. We're going to second, we're, go we're going to the second one now. I swear to God, I start playing the second one and I get another black screen. I am gonna cr cry. All right. Apparently, that was just it. I know there is DLC, uh, the Stormy Ascent. I think I'll do those after I finish all the games, because I feel like those are extra super hard, and I want to develop my gamer skills before I go at them. Good begun. All right, let's let's see the second one. Ooh. Well, Kortik strikes back, so that guy's back. The oh! Immediately picks up after the fist. Oh my god, they're gonna Sonic 3 it. Oh my god, they're Sonic 3-ing it. <laughs> Crystals, of course. No. What? What does that mean? Crystals, of course. But Dr. Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Oh, it's Coco. Crash, crash, crash! My battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Hey. Yes, I do. I don't 
like this. The year 2015 has come out. That's an interesting thing I shall check. Come on. Was that it? Hey. Well, Whoa. Well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot. Whoa. Welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Now... This will... Probably never be explained. They'll just say it's the funny bandicoot man. Leave him alone. Why the hell is Crash agreeing to this? That you're like, why? Why did you say? Sure thing, Doctor Cool. So I'm gonna get you the uh, the funny crystals. Yeah, you know, that's. Be kind to the boxes to end a special gem. Am I supposed to not break boxes? To get the gem? Well, I'm not about that. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Alright, so I have a stump. Wait. Oh, that's cool. The stump leaves a mark on the, uh, on the wet floor. It's so much better to play this with a... Like, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to anyone that says no, Raven. It is better to play this with a controller. It's... I know, it's, it's just... No. Wait. Oh. I knew it. And I'm an idiot. Die, stupid idiot. I get a checkpoint in a bonus area? Why? Whoa! That's why. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that probably wasn't the best of, uh, come on. Oh no, am I miss- am I... I can make that, I know I can, I know I can make that, come on. Oh, that's so stinky, no. What if I get some momentum with it, no. No way. No, I missed my chance. Oh, and I'm an idiot too. I'm an idiot as well. No. Anyways. Okay, I get why they why they put a checkpoint. Oh god. There you go. One, two, three. Four, five. Four, five. Oh boy. 
Is that a real tight jump, or is that just... No, no, that has to be attainable, right? O otherwise, how do you traverse? Kinda wish I had my mask now. That was the most pitiful jump attempt I've done in my life. Dude, some people had to rent this game. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that out there. Some people had to rent this shit. Oh. Don't, don't, no, no, don't touch me. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna avoid the nitro instead of trying to go over it. Oh god, I'm an idiot. It's fine. Okay. Dude. <laughs> oh, shut up. Where were you when I needed you four lives ago? I think I... I, I genuinely don't know how you're supposed to reach there. Anyways. Go up. Go up, you stupid idiot. Alright, don't go up, you stupid idiot. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. You give me a checkpoint. I know it's probably not gonna be useful to me since I'm only one life left, but already. <gasps> Bonus. I might get some lives out of it. Oh. Yes. One life. That's good. That's great. It's fantastic. And another life. For right now. I wonder if instead of holding it, if you time a box jump, a crate jump, you get more mileage out of the jump. I don't slide downhill? Oh, this game sucks. A mole? Oh, I had to kill him. I thought I had to jump on him. Even then, I was not doing a great job at it. Yeah, I just have to kill them. Okay. Come on. Hey, I got one of them. No. 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 Oh, you can jump on them. Alright, Dr. Cortex, I got your funny... Funny crates. Uh, funny crystal. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. 
During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Mm. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? Whoa. Well. Well, so hmm. So this is just Sonic Three, except you play as Knuckles. Look, you went to the Mushroom Forest. Now you're going to Ice Cap Zone. What's that, Hydro City? I forgot to save. Discover and finish the secret route for a special gem. I... why would I? I will. Does that take care of the nitro? No. Does the nitro count as a crate? Because if so... How do I safely dispose of it? Oh my god, that penguin just... Oh, his eyes! I did not like that. I cannot do anything to you. Oh! Oh, these ice physics are ass! Oh my god, these ice physics suck! Oh, God, no, you have no idea how bad this is. There's no traction in this. There's no friction. Oh, my God. It's like fighting against me. It's your fault, you idiot. Whoa! Mario penguins. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Why is it so laggy in here? It's supposed to be a... Give me a second. I wanna... I wanna see if I can... Uh... Just reduce some settings a little bit. Is there anything really that could be... Oh! Why do I have this on? Get out of here, you bastard. Is that better? No, a little bit. I think it's because I'm streaming it. My... OBS seems to not like this game. Is it because of the reflections? Maybe. In any case, I do apologize for a bit of lag. I'll try and solve it uh, for next stream, but I can't promise much with my computer. I know it's supposed to be able to run it so I do genuinely think it's OBS crap in itself like like it always does honestly all right that was a lot of trust but I don't think it was too too hidden there has to be like an extra. Oh no, I can I can reach them fine. I was thinking there has to be something that lets you jump a little bit high. Oh my god, that sucks. I hate ice physics. Yeah, if if ice physics is so cool, then why can I not keep my momentum when I jump on him, huh? Idiot.
Oh god. If I have so little inertia and traction... Uh, there's no point to that. Being in a staircase, perhaps, and that's fine. Die. Oh, I miss him. That's fine. Jesus, this level is... I think it's because of the reflections. Sadly, I did not see any reflection uh, changes in, in the options. But I think that's what's causing the lag. So let's hope the, others, the other levels don't have as many of that. Remember when games could just like perfectly emulate reflections without the system having to cramp itself. I I used to read a little into that, into what the hell happened. It's just that games are just um they basically push everything to the limits now nowadays. Which is why you don't see a lot of reflections in video games. Having to render two of the same game at once, it's gonna kill you. So now they do stuff like not having reflections, or the blurry stuff, or one single mirror that works in the entire game. Or every mirror is conveniently broken or dusted or something. I did get the gem for going to the bonus room. I forgot to save again. <laughs> I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass. I know there's auto save, but all right. It is Hydro City, and yes, I say Hydro City, not Hydro City. Some people say such horrible things. Gotcha. That was nice. That was, that was a clean jump. Uh, ooh! Mm, whoa, 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 whoa. I am boosting. I am not boosting. I am taking a relaxed stroll. There you go. See ya. Yeah, this runs much better. I think it was um, the reflection on the uh, ice level. This uh, this game feels like it was made for me. Like the bonus is being a bit more obvious now. It's like, oh god, we're even such an idiot. He he doesn't get it. We're just gonna have to like put in a big question mark, wave it on his face. Otherwise, he's just not gonna notice. And you know what? It worked. I see it now. Thank you, Crash Bandicoot. Thank you. I feel like uh, level design has improved a lot. Like, it's not that it feels easier, it just feels less um, BS. Like, sometimes in, in certain platforming things, I'd be like, eh, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. Oh. I'm... I don't have my mask anymore. So I wonder how long this game is gonna be. Because it's not just gonna be... Five uh, areas and that's it, right? That'd be... Extremely disappointing. Besides, I, I think the guy with the rocket head, I, I think his name is Engine, actually. I, for some reason, I know his name. 
maybe that's not engine though. Anyways, that guy, I believe he said they needed 25 crystals. I don't have the bonus. Oh no. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Oh, oh, no, 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 We have six percent, yeah, definitely more than these. I really like um, Cortex's uh, voice actor. Now that I can hear him a bit more than just in the in the cutscene and die Crash Bandicoot, die you Crash Bandicoot uh, moment. Ah, bitch. Now that I get to hear him a bit more. I... I really appreciate this sort of like curvis charisma he puts into it. I really like the the voice. See you later, idiot. Could have begun. I freaked up again. I'm going left. I'm going left. to be a bit more careful around those birds. Die. I'll check the right path. After I beat... Uh, after I beat this normally. Don't worry about it. And I hope they make them a bit more challenging to find. Next time, because goddamn. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! That one broke in an unexpected manner. Like that second one broke in two hits, I'm pretty sure. Or three, but definitely not five. I feel like I made a mistake, yeah. I see, that's why, it, yeah, okay. That's fine, I'll take what I can get. Leave me alone. Probably miss.
missing some crates from the other path, well, which I'll check in a second. message no message no message oh what am I doing what am I doing what am I doing You've made a bad choice, Raven. Okay, gotta activate gamer mode now. Really hope I don't fuck up. This was not how I wanted to check this path, but here we are. Let's go. Actually, not doing bad. I haven't had to stop holding my W. Ish. That was a bit. That was a bit bad. That was a, that was a well time jump, though. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Ah, uh, stupid rats. Well, it's small, but you know. Ooh. Ooh, speedrun strat. Threw a mole onto a mole. Come on. I don't even know what the li time limit is for this. But I'd say I'm doing pretty good. Oh, that, that was bad. Oh, please. Please. What is it? Was it just for fun? It was just for fun, you bastard. Ah. Uh, no, I don't want to restart the stupid trial. Son of a gun. Crash dash. This lighting can help you move faster. I should have known. I don't like the slide here though. It's such a fixated distance slide. Why is the camera pointing here? Oh no. Oh no. Why, why, why is it telling me how to slide? I knew it, you goddamn bastard. Oh, I see. It's not a bounce pad. They, yeah, I, I'm not liking the slide. It like stops you after you do it. I'd rather just have the constant speed. I feel like it's good if you want to get last second near the gate. Like this. But even then, eh. We um there you go. Oh I'll definitely take that. Oh. And I'm also liking these boulder levels too. Like, compared to the first one, I feel like the first one, maybe I'm just more used to them now, but I feel like these are a bit more lenient as to your uh, reaction time.
Well, this is terrifying. I did it. That's all that matters. Oh! Oh! Oh. Wait, that might not be good. If you really think about it. That might not be the best. Oh, got it! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. We're good with the crates. I, uh, I don't think it's easy to miss crates in the bolder levels because they're so linear. But uh oh, okay, massive time loss. But we can make up to it, right? Oh no, no, the last, oh, it, it got it, it counted because of the boulder, okay, A actually huge. Actually huge. New message? Yeah, yeah, this guy, yeah, he got him. He got him, yeah, this guy. He got, oh. So, oh. You are helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet, you have acquired a gem. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must be to gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to f f focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you <laughs> from gathering crystals. <laughs> Animators really had a field day with that, huh? I love that. Um, I'm not gonna get the jab. Ripperoo. Oh my god, this guy again. Oh, never mind. Excuse me? I. It's... I. Oh! Oh, boy. Explosives. How did you know? Okay, it doesn't seem too bad. There is a pretty clear pattern, too. I say as I almost get killed by him landing exactly where I was standing. I guess a fair strat, not in the case of Night... Scheiße. 
Uh, I was gonna say, I guess I first try out with the TNT and not the nitrous to simply walk over the TNT if you need to avoid something. And then move on to ones that have already exploded before the one you're in explodes. God, leave me alone. Got him. Professor Pulverized, says the achievement. Hmm. Did I get a crystal for that? Or Oh god, no more ice. Oh god, no more ice. Oh god. Not the ice. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2? I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly. All thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to find... Well... Oh god, not the eyes reflections. Please, my integrated GPU computer cannot handle this. The poor thing is going... No, it's not. Uh, speaking of temperature and overheating and, and stuff like that, it's... It's been really nice lately. I, I think I've said this before, but it's temperature has cooled down a lot and it's very nice. That loading screen taking it's it's taking a sweet time and it's given me flashbacks to um you know You bastard son of a bitch. You bastard son of a bitch. This game just does not let me win. Interesting. I'm gonna try something. Can I even go back to the warp room after this? Okay, yes I can. I I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do the other levels. If so, then I'll do those and then I'll... I guess it'll be a short stream until I can fix uh, that. Oh, so that's how you get one of those platforms. Okay. So if the other levels work, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do these and then I'll reinstall the, uh, the game again because for some reason this game uh, is just goofy like that. I am an idiot. Honestly, I think, I'm starting to think I probably could have gotten more mileage out of the um, original PS1 versions of these games. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it is just my computer. 
but the fact that reinstalling the game did fix the black screen makes me think something is just bad with the files in general. I fuck. I'm going to do it again because I'm impatient. I am a bastard. I cannot wait. Because waiting, I am allergic to it. God damn it. I don't even have to get tokens for the bonus levels anymore. Like, what's up, man? What's up with that, man? You good? I'm not the biggest fan of this layout. I don't know what it. I don't know what it's trying to do. I don't know why it had to to make the bridge, but apparently that that's it. Apparently that was it. That was just a weird bonus level. Okay. I, I don't know if it was meant to actually do something, but... Like in the being difficult sense. ay yeah 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 Are you gonna crash now? No! What are you saying? Listen to yourself, dude. Me and good at crash are opposite, like, definitions. That just doesn't happen, Hiram Keeper. But that just doesn't happen. Check it out, gamer. Got him. Can I go here? Oh god, leave me alone. Thought you got good over time. Well, I did beat the boss of the first game. I am on the second one now. Um, but I don't know how much uh, stream I got left because one of the levels is already black screening again. Because this game appears to be very well uh, made and optimized. Yeah. And and I was just saying, I'd probably get more mileage out of the PS1 games now. They, they'd probably work better. PC version DOS also get the shaft, you're right. It is... unfortunate, but... It is a thing that happens a lot in multi-platform releases. I mean, look at Platinum. Platinum never cares about the PC ports. They're just absolute garbo. It took... <laughs> yeah, PS1 LML is really good. Oh, no, no, I'd never, I would never do that. I would never, absolutely not, no. I would never, how dare you. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's just like, whenever I think bad PC ports, I always, always think of, um, Platinum games. Like Bayonetta. It's, it's trash. Near Automata is uh, trash. And there's a couple others that are also trash. And, um... Ooh, the Sonic, a lot of Sonic PC ports are pretty bad, um, Lost World, the adventure games, uh, terrible PC ports, oh my god, it's one of the laggy reflection levels again. Oh, no, not the bear! I've never played Banquish. I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to think. I, I, I was thinking of something else as well that was like a really, really bad port. 
I feel bad for the bear. Look at him. He's just a baby. I feel like I had one more example that, that I go like, oh, yeah, that's bad, dude. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it I'm thinking of? I sheesh. Ay, sheesh. Why is it not jumping anymore? It, it just doesn't want to jump anymore. Is it the eye? Is, is it that I'm too close to the edge? There we go. Okay, maybe it was that I was uh, a bit too close to the edge. I've heard Master Collection is uh, the Metal Gear Solid uh, Master Collection is like it's not bad. It just feels very lackluster for something that's supposed to be a PC port. Like, they're not bad, like, if you want to play them, and on PC, they are really a great choice, but it's kind of like, um... From my understanding, it's kind of like what uh, Mario 3D All-Stars was with, um, 64, uh, Sunshine and Galaxy. Which is, um... Uh... That's stupid hitbox. Anyways, which is just like the games basically emulated on a different uh, thing. So they miss out on a lot of what could be like quality of life changes to the games or like bonus stuff. It's just the games, which feels like a little waste of potential. But again, they're not bad. Yeah, I know which uh, I know which collection you're talking about. Sadly, when I played Peace Walker, I did not know about the HD version, and I had to go through the PSP version, which I believe is pretty good. It's just that, from my understanding, HD has better controls, which makes sense. But at least they're not as bad as portable ops. I've, I've heard portable ops had just terrible controls. God, I really love Peace Walker. It's, uh... I don't know if it's underrated, but it certainly doesn't get the attention it should. It's a really, really fun game. And it's a pretty good like, continuation of, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Haven't played Portal Ops. Uh, I don't know if you should. I don't think it's even canon. Like, I haven't heard terrible things about it, but I haven't heard the greatest things either. No, Peace Walker is great, dude. It has Hatsune Miku in a starring role. What, what more do you want? I kind of want to know what's there. Oh. Uh... I'm not gonna worry too much about that guy now. I think it's definitely better than 4 and Love 4. I, I, I keep hearing that 4 
despite being good, it's just the worst in the main series. Or rather the weakest, not to say like the worst because it's not bad per se. Oh, come on. Uh, I cannot wait. I, I personally am excited for... Uh, potentially for now being a, um, a reality, getting other ports finally. Like, actually being able to play, uh, for people to play it on PC or like PS5 or like Xbox. Maybe even the Bimbembo Switch. Yeah, I, I think they will port it. I mean, they do call it Master Collection Volume 1. So that does imply that there's gonna be more. And if they're gonna make a Volume 2, certainly... It would make sense to put 4 in it. Unless they're just gonna put, like... Portable Ops. Peace Walker. Metal Gear Solid Acid. No, I mean Metal Gear Acid. Uh... Tower of Babel. Uh, Tower of Ghost of Babel. I'm, I'm confusing storylines. Um, and then they put in... I hope to put Acid 1 and 2. I hear they're fine. They're just not Metal Gear games. They're different in that way. Uh, aren't they like card games? Oh, that's how you do the super... J oh, okay. I probably should have realized, but I didn't. Um, and then they, like, out of nowhere, they say, Oh, and you know what, kids? Just so you stop asking about Metal Gear Solid 4, we're gonna... We're gonna um, give you... Metal Gear Rising 2. And then everyone shuts up and stops complaining about lack of ports for uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. Holy! Thank heck for Coyote time, am I right? Fellow platform enthusiasts. I do hear good things about uh, Ghost Babel. Turn based tactics, stealth card games. Yes, I, I do remember that. Is that a dog? Mate, we're on a third floor. How the hell are you so loud? Anyways, this might be last level before I have to end stream. Oh my god, Coco, you scared me. Ah. Can't say I've ever played anything else like them. Acid one is not great though. Kind of feels like a proof of concept. Definitely not bad, but you know, yeah, I get you. Definitely not super amazing for what um, Metal Gear is. As a two is pretty fucking good. I don't think I'd give them a try. I personally. But if they're good, that's great. You know what, though? I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, I did play... Because they had the games... In... Um, in Metal Gear Solid 3, they had... Metal Gear 1. <laughs> yeah, we've established that.
Um, and I do remember they changed the name. But in the original MSX game, they just had a guy that was called Shotgunner. Uh, no, it was called Shootgunner. Because he has a gun and he shoots it. And I'm like, why, why couldn't that guy be a part of Foxhound, am I right? What the? But then they changed him to Shotgunner, and then they gave him like another stupid name, like Shotmaker or something like that. It's like, come on, cowards, stick to it, stick to it. Just call him Shoot Gunner. Because he has a gun, and he shoot. Alright, heading back, I guess. But yeah, I, I, I always think of, uh, of my guy Shoot Gunner. Whenever I uh, I feel down, I mean it's not like solid snake. I know, but shoot gunner, dude, come on, shoot gunner. Okay, I have the thing now. May as well stick with shoot gunner. Yeah. And I remember him, he was actually a pretty tough boss, because at the at the moment you, you fight him, you actually lost your equipment for a while. Uh, Crash, what are you? Okay. So you had, in the middle of the fight, you had to get your equipment back, and it was pretty tough. But yeah, imagine just... <laughs> Can you imagine actually playing... Um, the Metal Gear games after Metal Gear Solid 3 without having played the other games? Because it's definitely like a, a possibility. And you're like, oh cool, we get to see like the story of... Of like big bosses... Uh, friggin' mentee, trainee, whatever. And then you just land like, oh, Big Boss is now like friggin' evil. And then you kill him with a flamethrower. Oh. I see. Be tremendous. Oh, Mario World? Yeah, it would be like, I, I can just imagine it. it. It'd be pretty harrowing to just find like the goofy guy with the eye patch and... And that one weird scene where he and the and the booba lady wrestle in the shadows uh it, no he's now just like evil he's lost all his faith in the world he's going to kill us all uh he he really didn't understand anything the boss taught him yeah i feel asleep Oh god, yes, I actually remember- that was my first Metal Gear game. 
Metal Gear for the back when we had an NES, or well, a Famicom in our case. But I remember that so clearly. Just I feel to sleep with like an exclamation point. God, it's so such a stupid nonsensical game. I love it. Hey, who's this guy? Who's got? It? Who's got it? Yeah, who's got him? Is this, um... You wanted to join? Sure. Huh. I play on an emulator called Nesticle. <laughs> that was DOS based and had a bleeding hand as a mouse. That's early 2000s as heck, dude. Did I load the save? Did I just load the save instead of saving it? I did. Thank fuck there's an autosave, right? Hmm. Okay. Shift is to save. It is shift to save. All right, there we go. Now, this real quick is the boss. It's not gonna be activated. And I'm pretty sure if I go back here, it's not gonna load again. So I'm gonna have to once more stop the stream and re-download the game and then stream this again whenever I have the chance. Um, if this game does end up giving me more trouble than it's worth, I might just shelve it. Uh, for the future. Because sheesh, man. Yeah, it's doing the thing again. Oh, boy. I'm gonna try something real quick, actually. Uh, I'm gonna try something, and if it doesn't work, then yeah, it's uh, unfortunately gonna have to be stream. I wish it wasn't. But... If I fix this and next stream it happens again... Uh, the, yeah, it's gonna get shelled for a while. I don't wanna have to deal with it every single stream, you know? Alright. So... I do have one idea that I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think this idea is going to work, if I am uh, honest. How do I uh, leave the hacking game? There you go. Okay. So, it didn't work for fixing the boss fight. But it might work for this, so I guess I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try rebetifying the files. I'm gonna try Reverifying the files. I'm actually, I'm going to keep us on the VRB screen. Just like... Um, install files. Verify integrity of game files. This is going to take a little bit. Hopefully not too much. Well, I do that, you know, feel free to take a bathroom break. I might take one. Uh, take one right now, actually. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it as a BRB.
Oh my god, this thing is on 37%. We're gonna be here a while, chat. Do I have anything to entertain chat with? I could technically... No, it's not okay. It's not, it's not. I mean, uh, this is probably the end stream anyway, so... I genuinely do not think verifying file integrity is gonna fix this. So, this might as well be the outro. In fact, I'm willing to bet Reven is gonna put this as the outro in the bot timestamp. I'm willing to bet. 61%. Uh, so anyways, yeah. NES version of Metal Gear. That was my, my first interaction with Metal Gear. It was weird. I don't, I don't even know if you can beat this game. Am I willing to bet? No. You, you, no, yeah. You, you don't bet. This is... Um, I'm betting on myself. I That's not supposed to be illegal. Isn't this insider info trading, so, um, more or less? Doesn't matter. 76%. Uh, it was definitely a very weird game. Uh, and playing the MSX version is like, wow, this game is so much better. Like, stealth actually works. The game looks better. It's It's got, like, a bigger screen. It's got, like, items that work and make sense. It's got, like, a, like a whole better system. Why the hell did they do that in the NES? The NES um, had a lot of, like, international release, uh, release slash American intervention of games to make them... Uh, cooler and by that I mean bullshittier like Castlevania 3 yeah you did tell me about Twin Snakes one file failed to validate and will be reacquired okay the file has been reacquired I'm going to open the game really quick. I'm not I'm not going to show the game on screen until I'm sure that level works. So you're not going to see the game for a while. If it doesn't work, I'm going to move immediately into the outro screen. And that'll be it. And then, I don't know. But I can tell you this, depressing news. Raven is not going to be able to stream or record tomorrow's Lethal Company collab. It's just not going to be possible, sadly. Uh, I have um, some scheduling issues. I will be there, but I'm going to be very busy in the background, so I'd rather not have that on stream. <laughs> because I'm basically not going to be as active as, as usual. So, what I recommend is that you go to someone else's uh, channel. You can check the uh, links of the people I collab with on my BOD channel. And if you want to watch the collab, you can watch them from any one of those channels. I certainly recommend um, Ash and Slime because they're always streaming it as they are basically the hosts of the event 
Oh yeah, that's that's all I have to say on that. It it is really a shame. I don't like missing out on on streaming the collabs. Anyways, uh, no, the the game didn't work. So I'm gonna have to reinstall it again and then test it again. And if it doesn't work, this game is getting shelved. And instead, we're gonna be playing No More Heroes Two. So um, next stream. I don't know when it's going to be. It's probably going to be on, like, Sunday at the very least. I have a mess of a schedule today and uh, this week, I mean. And add to that that Friday and Saturday, Jillips is supposed, quote-unquote, to be streaming. And then we have quite the disaster. So, with that being said, we are going to be raiding. I hope I'm on time to do this raid. So let me check real quick. Okay. I've never gotten to raid Shori, and Shori has raided me once, and I would like to return the favor. For Valentine's Day, which is technically tomorrow, but you know, you know, uh, Shori is doing, apparently, according to the title, Valentine's Day, Yuri VN randomized any percent glitchless speedrun. I believe what this means is that she's doing a bunch of Yuri visual novels uh, that she decides at random and trying to beat them as fast as she can. Maybe. Maybe it's just a shitpost title. Who knows? I don't. I certainly have no idea what that means, but I really like Shory's energy, so I might as well, you know, give it, give her some, uh, give her some high highs. Also, she's a great whistler. She is like a really great whistler. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be it. I will see you, fellas. Someday, <laughs> someday, right? Someday, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye.